What's up guys, I wanna do this video because this is something a lot of people think is simple and um, doesn't really matter as far as checking things on PMs and service calls go. But I found uh, a lot of people doing this the wrong way um, in my experience so far. And certain brands like Aon, this is the number one thing you're gonna find on a PM as far as issues go. So, all right, I got a bad crankcase heater on the left. I got a good one. So we're gonna compare the differences here. So we're gonna put our leads going in and going out. As you can see, the meter leads OL. That's because it's actually broken open. As you can see right there, that is actually a broken wire or a connection in your heat element. So one thing I found, and I don't know why this is, but uh, you have to take out the fuse connecting to these crank these heaters. Otherwise, it's actually gonna show you, um, it's not gonna show that's open, basically. It's gonna show a resistance. It's, uh, I think, roughly the resistance, resistance of the fuses. So um, another thing is these are, so these are the fuses from the bad crank these heater. And as you can see, neither one has been popped. That's because when uh, these fail open, that's not gonna increase your amp draw, it's gonna decrease it. So that's something to look out for. So now going over to the good crankcase heater, got the fuse out, just checking the element. You can see it's about 3.1, 3.2 kilo ohms. So, that's what you're going to see, you know, I mean, not specifically on um, any given crankcase heater, but you're going to see basically a resistance value. It should not read OL. If you see an OL, that means it's open. Um, another thing that I've had it happen a few times is I thought a crankcase heater was failed checking with my guards on, on my leads, because I wasn't making a good electrical connection. So you want to make sure you got your guards off when you've are checking these um these concrete heaters so i hope this helps but um again this is uh this is the number one common uh, the number one uh, problem you're going to see on pms with aeon systems especially with unloaders i think all the vibrating really does a number on the crankcase heaters so uh, again you need to take Remember to take the fuses out and check them right at the element like this. Otherwise, you're going to get a resistance value uh, even if they're open, which, you know, um, I can't quite explain why that is, but that's what I've seen. So, uh, one more tip. Sometimes these are really hard to get off. They're kind of rusted on there. So, good thing to do is use a crescent or, of course, I like the pliers wrench a lot because they give you a lot of grip strength and a lot of torque so you can use that to break free get it off and then get in there but uh yeah i hope this helps a couple more notes um of course you can do a touch test on a good crankcase heater it's gonna feel so hot that it's it's gonna feel like it's almost burning you if not burning you when you touch it and um, usually crankcase heaters are going to be wired in so when the compressor's off the crankcase heater's on so if you got a compressor's off you can do a touch test and check it that way if it's hot especially compared to um, another compressor with a failed crankcase heater you can compare things that way and know that that crankcase heater is working so um, as far as why crankcase, heater, crankcase heaters are important. Um, one thing a lot of people don't know is if you don't have a crankcase heater or any way to kind of manage um, liquid flood back or oil return, what's gonna happen is on startup, you're gonna have liquid for a brief time going into your compressor. It may not be enough to be a slug, but what will happen, even if it doesn't 
uh, slug is it's going to start washing out the oil from the compressor and it's going to go and migrate you know somewhere else in the system so especially if you're looking at a system with no other way to manage oil return or you know it doesn't have like a liquid line solenoid uh, that that's going to close during the off cycle for example you, it's really important to have a crankcase heater that's working or if there's no crankcase heater it's a great thing to recommend to a customer because that's going to really hope that compressor lasts longer.